uh, it's wild. It's a, a totally surreal experience. We spent so many years creating them and living with them, and then to see them in flesh and blood, you know, portrayed out there in the real world to be shared with the audiences, you know, all over the place. It's just fantastic. I thought that making the movie was this rich experience, and then having it out in theaters was amazing. And now here we are, you know, almost two years later, and what do you know, she's here on ice. You create her, and here she is, and she's kind of born on film, you know, and then we get to see her born again in merchandise and in books and then as the characters in the parks and then, you know, on Disney on ice. It just it just keeps giving back. With, with Disney, whether the character's going to be in a park or on a cruise ship or wherever you're going to see her on ice, they really want it to be true to the film experience and the story of the film. I'm responsible for maintaining the integrity that is set by the director, Patty Vincent, the choreographer, while we're on a tour nine and a half months out of the year. So whenever the audience comes into each of the cities that that we're performing in a venue, it's my responsibility to make sure that uh, we perform at the highest quality technically and, and artistically. I think one of the, the highlights of the show is during the Little Mermaid segment when Ariel does this aerial act about 30 feet in the air, um, getting spun by one arm that I think the audience really enjoyed. I enjoy touring and coming back to familiar cities where I may have performed as a, as a, a performer and having the opportunity to, to um, perform, uh, put together a show and perform for audiences and bring a little bit of Disney to their to their city. Let's get to it. Come on.